The world of personal transportation is evolving fast, and the most exciting innovations aren't always the biggest, they're the smartest. From futuristic bike cars and aerodynamic velomobiles, to powerful new e-bikes and ultra-compact EVs, these next-level machines are redefining how we move through our cities. They're cleaner, lighter, and often way more fun than anything on four wheels. In this countdown, we're looking at the top 20 next-level bike cars, velomobiles, e-bikes, and small cars that push the limits of design, efficiency, and pure creativity. If you're curious about where transportation is headed, this is the perfect place to start. Let's jump in. Can Car E-Bike Mark 1 The Can Car E-Bike Mark 1 feels like a cozy pod for the city. A four-wheeled, semi-enclosed e-bike that blends the comfort of a car with the spirit of cycling. With a range of up to 100 kilometers, 62 miles, on a single charge, it's built for daily commutes. Ride smoothly thanks to its car grade suspension and stay safe with hydraulic disc brakes. Optional extras include a 50 watt solar panel, heated seats and app based locking and GPS tracking. It's expected to sell for under 4,000 euros. Electrum LEV. The Electrum LEV is a beautifully weird, futuristic two-wheeler that feels more like a mini velomobile than a motorbike. With its recumbent seating, aerodynamic fairing, and dual hub motors, rear plus front, it cruises seamlessly. The 2,800 watt hour lithium battery delivers up to 200 kilometers of range on a single charge, and adding a second battery can take that to around 400 kilometers. Top speed reaches 65 kilometers per hour, approximately 40 miles per hour, electronically limited for legal compliance. Its generator chain drive system lets you pedal comfortably and generate power while cruising. Price-wise, the Electrum kit is listed at around 12,500 Canadian dollars, approximately 10,000 US dollars, with a deluxe version, dual batteries cargo, around 15,500 Canadian dollars. Massimo M V R H V A C. The Massimo M V R H V A C is a surprisingly refined electric golf cart that feels more like a cozy car than a bare bones utility ride. It's driven by a 48 volt 5 kilowatt, 6.7 horsepower motor, gives you up to 45 miles per charge, and caps out at 25 miles per hour. Inside, a fully enclosed cabin protects you from heat or chill with its HVAC system, offering 2,600 watts of cooling and 1,000 watts of heating. Extras like 14-inch wheels, LED lights, a rear-view camera, and 800-pound load capacity round out the design. Priced around 14,500 US dollars, it's a compelling choice for year-round comfort, whether you're on the golf course or working a ranch. Antic Bike Antic is an absolute blast. A retro mini electric bike born from the makers of one wheel. With a top speed of 35 miles per hour and a self-balancing one wheel mode that helps you pull wheelies without tipping, it's pure mischief on two wheels. You get a torque-rich hub motor, hydraulic front suspension, and regenerative rear braking. Range depends on the model. From 12 to 28 miles on the base, $2,100, up to 50 miles with the long range version, $2,700, and a long range plus with rugged tires for $2,900. This feels like riding your childhood dreams, but supercharged with modern tech. XYTE1. The XYTE1 is a compact three wheeled electric vehicle that feels like a clever mix of a scooter and a microcar. With a 19 kilowatt motor and 55 newton meters torque, it sprints from zero to 50 kilometers per hour in just 2.7 seconds and reaches a top speed of 99 kilometers per hour. Its 7.6 kilowatt hour battery gives a range of 112 kilometers, charging from 20% to 80% in around 2.2 hours. Built with an aluminum safety cell and four point seat belt, you can ride without a helmet using a regular car license. There's a roomy 72-liter trunk, a 10-inch touchscreen cockpit with LTE slash Bluetooth, and three-channel ABS for added safety. 
It measures 217 centimeters long, only 79 centimeters wide, and weighs 206 kilograms when empty. Ferv's Ranger. The Ferv's Ranger is an utterly charming and quirky micro off-roader that feels like a toy come to life, yet hides real purpose engineering under its playful skin. Built between 1966 and 1971, it used Fiat 500's rear-mounted 499 cubic centimeter twin cylinder engine, just 18 horsepower, and borrowed suspension and brakes from the Fiat 600. It came in both two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive versions, had a folding windscreen, removable doors, and could carry up to four people. Thanks to its low weight and clever gearing, it crept along even at walking speed. Crafted in a limited run of just approximately 600 units, it's now a rare gem. Restored or well-maintained models often fetch 25,000 to 50,000 euros, with some auctioned for much more, approximately 196,000 US dollars. Actacycle. The Actacycle is a delightfully lightweight, ultra-efficient electric quadricycle that feels like a cross between a bike and a tiny car. Its aluminum frame weighs about 100 kilograms, yet carries up to 300 kilograms and offers 170 liters of trunk space, 50 liters hard plus 120 liters soft. Depending on the model, it has a 250 watt or 750 watt motor with a high power 4000 watt version two and a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour or 45 kilometers per hour. You can ride for 40 to 80 kilometers on a charge. Two swappable 48 volt batteries. Its pre-order price ranges from 11,900 euros to 14,400 euros, depending on the version. Vigo Sixi. The Sixi Vigos is a fascinating flip on micro mobility, part EV, part exercise machine, and totally futuristic. It's a three-wheeled, fully enclosed vehicle with a 22 kilowatt hour battery, giving a range of about 160 kilometers. What's really wild is its PERS pedal system, which lets you pedal to accelerate or brake, even helping regenerate power. Its top speed is a surprising 120 kilometers per hour, good enough for highways. Safety-wise, there are two seats, three-point seat belts, isofix for a child seat, and a reclining aerodynamic cabin with active leaning in turns. Rather than buying, Sixi intends to lease the Vigos on a subscription basis, though the exact monthly cost hasn't been announced yet. The Moventech Mobility Galabot is a smart little workhorse that feels both futuristic and down to earth. With a six kilowatt electric motor and a top speed of 45 kilometers per hour, it's built for tight urban or rural routes. It runs on a 5.4 kilowatt hour LFP battery, giving an autonomy of about 70 kilometers reloading in roughly three hours from a regular 230 volt outlet. Its compact body, 2.87 meters long, can carry up to 273 kilograms, and the cargo area is even pallet compatible, 0.90 by 0.80 by 1.05 meters. Completely assembled in France at their Ruiz facility, priced around 21,829 euros, it's a clever, eco-friendly option for professionals wanting a no-permit EV. Sanka Cycle B.O.B. The Sanka Cycle B.O.B. feels like a gentle nudge into the future. A friendly, four-wheeled e-bike that aims to replace your second car. Powered by a 250-watt motor and capped at 25 kilometers per hour, it's quiet and steady. At 110 kilograms, with dimensions of roughly 2.2 meters by 0.93 meters by 1.6 meters, it's compact yet spacious enough for two adults or a parent and kids. It's offered only via long-term rental in 150 euros per month, not sale. Riding BOB feels more like biking in comfort. Cozy seat, weather protection, even lights and indicators making daily trips genuinely enjoyable. Le Woody Bus. The Le Woody Bus is a warm-hearted, eco-friendly bike bus that feels like a community project on wheels. It seats eight children plus a driver and everyone pedals together, backed by electric assistance. Built from 90% Landis Pinewood, it's light, 
approximately 200 kilograms, and carbon efficient. It runs on a 250 watt motor powered by two 48 volt batteries, giving a range of around 20 kilometers at a top speed of approximately 20 to 25 kilometers per hour. The listed price is 19,000 euros X VAT. Riding in it feels joyful and collaborative. You're not just being driven, you're contributing to the journey. Dacia Hipster. The Dacia Hipster is refreshingly down to earth. A no frills, 100% electric city car built for real life, not showrooms. At only three meters long and weighing under 800 kilograms, it still seats four adults thanks to its clever boxy design. The trunk ranges from 70 liters to 500 liters when the rear seats fold. With a top speed of about 90 kilometers per hour and an estimated range of 150 kilometers, it's tailor-made for easy, everyday urban runs. To keep things ultra affordable, Dacia has trimmed the luxuries, canvas seats, manual windows, strap handles, and a smartphone dock instead of a screen. All that simplicity comes at a price, under 15,000 euros in Europe. Midapile. The Midapile feels like a clever bridge between bicycle and tiny utility vehicle. Light, smart, and deeply thoughtful. It's a four-wheeled pedal-assisted EV that can reach up to 45 kilometers per hour and haul 300 kilograms of cargo. Powered by a mix of pedaling, battery, and solar, it delivers economical energy use, about two euros worth of electricity per 100 kilometers. Midapile offers three modular versions, van, pickup, and flatbed. Rather than selling, it's offered on a rental SAT subscription model, around 300 euros per month. With a compact three meter length and eco-designed materials, like flax and hemp, it feels grounded, green, and surprisingly wholesome. The E-Motion is a bold, lean electric microcar that feels like a marriage of a motorcycle's agility and a car's safety. At just 79 centimeters wide, it uses a tilting four-wheel chassis to lean over 35 degrees in turns, controlled via handlebars like a bike. It has a fixed battery for up to 200 kilometers range, plus optional 70 kilometers swappable packs. Top speed is around 115 kilometers per hour, and it weighs about 230 kilograms. For safety, it includes four-point seat belts, crash absorbent structure, and even EPP foam bumpers. Rather than selling it, Emotion offers a leasing model at roughly 200 euros per month, including maintenance. Driving it feels playful, yet reassuring, like you're cutting through traffic in something futuristic, but grounded and safe. Envo Vimo Batch 3. The Envo Vimo Batch 3 feels like a cozy little cocoon for city commuting. Sheltered yet airy, with a thoughtful design that makes even rainy rides feel pleasant. It's powered by a 750 watt hub motor, delivering up to 80 newton meters of torque, giving you smooth pedal assist and throttle control. With a 48 volt 15 amp hour lithium battery, it claims a range of about 62 miles, 100 kilometers, up to 32 kilometers per hour. Hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear suspension, and nine-speed Shimano gearing ad polish. At around 9,800 Canadian dollars, it's an investment, but one that rewards with guilt-free, weather-resilient, completely electric mobility. City Q. City Q is a bold, car-like e-bike that perfectly blends the agility of a bicycle with the comfort and tech of a micro vehicle. Its 250 watt motor supports a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour. And thanks to two swappable batteries, it boasts an impressive range of 70 to 110 kilometers per charge. The frame is weather protected and supports up to 250 kilograms of load. Priced at around 7,450 euros, it's a forward-thinking choice for city commuters who want sustainability without sacrificing comfort. Risa and Müller Swing 5. The Risa and Müller Swing 5 is a beautifully designed e-roadster that feels effortless yet refined. It features a 500 watt-hour Bosch rack battery seamlessly integrated into its classic low-step frame paired with a Bosch performance line motor. 
The belt drive keeps things quiet, clean, and low maintenance. With a suspension fork and seat post, it offers a smooth, relaxed ride. Depending on the model, the price starts around $6,939 US dollars for the silent and goes up to $7,800 for the automatic. Podbike Freecar Velomobile The Podbike Freecar is a futuristic four-wheeled velomobile that feels like a cozy cocoon on wheels. At 2.36 meters long and 0.84 meters wide, it's compact yet surprisingly roomy with 160 liters of cargo space or an optional child seat. Weighing around 90 kilograms unloaded, it supports up to approximately 220 kilograms. It offers pedal generator drive to twin rear hub motors and supports a top assist speed of 25 kilometers per hour with downhill speeds up to 50 to 60 kilometers per hour. Range per battery is about 30 to 50 kilometers with room for more packs. With full weather protection, crumple zones, and a rollover bar, it feels safer than your average bike. Pricing starts at around 12,990 euros. Renault Twingo E-Tech. The Renault Twingo E-Tech is a cheerful, compact EV that feels made for city life. Under its retro-inspired exterior sits a 60 kilowatt, 82 horsepower motor, paired with a 27.5 kilowatt hour LFP battery giving it up to 263 kilometers WLTP range. It sprints from zero to 50 kilometers per hour in around 3.85 seconds and tops out at 130 kilometers per hour. Charging is practical, 6.6 .6 kilowatts AC standard with an optional 50 kilowatts DC fast charger. Inside, there's a seven inch digital cluster and a 10 inch touchscreen with Google built in. Pricing starts at under 20,000 euros, making it a playful and affordable EV for everyday commuting. City Transformer CT2. The City Transformer CT2 feels like a sci-fi gadget come to life, a tiny EV that reshapes itself. With the press of a button, its width morphs from 1.0 meters in city mode, ideal for tight traffic and squeezing into tiny parking spots, to 1.3 meters in performance mode. Powered by dual rear motors, approximately 15 kilowatts, it sprints 0 to 50 kilometers per hour in approximately 5 seconds, tops out at 90 kilometers per hour, and delivers 120 to 180 kilometers of range from its 15 kilowatt hour battery. It weighs just 560 kilograms and manages to pack in disc brakes, AC, and ADAS features like blind spot warning. The CT2 is priced at 16,000 euros for the first edition, making it a clever, eco-friendly choice for urban explorers.